So here's the thing I keep noticing. New users that start using Home Assistant and doing stuff for the first time, right? They're looking for stuff to add to Home Assistant. And what this causes more than once is them, for them to run into trying to add add-ons because they feel like that is something that adds to Home Assistant. And while that's true, it's not what they were looking for. So they're actually not sure what they're doing and they're actually looking for integrations. This actually signals something, right? And I think that the name doesn't really tell you what it is and what, what you need in that regard. So I opened up a proposal to rename add-ons to apps. And before you think it's just bike shedding about names, let me explain why this actually matters and why I think that. So when you're new to Home Assistant, you open up the interface for the first time, you have this light bulb you want to add. There are multiple things in Home Assistant, but add-ons and integrations both live there. Um, and so are devices and services, but you want to add something. So add-on sounds pretty much like the thing you want, right? You want to add something. It sounds logical. It sounds a little bit like extensions in a way. The names really don't tell you what they actually do. Add-ons are actually software applications that run alongside Home Assistant. They are not Home Assistant, they are not in Home Assistant, they're running basically next to it. You can start them up and use them and they could provide additional services to Home Assistant. Good examples of add-ons, uh, which is super confusing, and we'll get to that in a bit, is actually AdGuard, um, ESP Home, and MQTT Mosquito. Integrations, however, integrations integrate a device or service into Home Assistant. So if you have a light bulb, you integrate that with Home Assistant and you get the capabilities to control and monitor that thing, uh, either through automations or the dashboards or something like that. So that's basically the difference between the two. One is integrating something into Home Assistant, while add-ons run software alongside Home Assistant. The two can connect, however, and this makes it even more confusing, to be fair. If you have the AdGuard, for example, no, let's say you want AdGuard. You can find AdGuard Home in both the add-on store and in the integrations list. And that's because Home Assistant can run AdGuard alongside itself as the actual ad filtering system for your house. But Home Assistant can also integrate with that add-on you're running uh, in your home to get statistics from it, automate with it and control it. So there are two parts to AdGuard Home, the integration and the add-on. It's super confusing for new people. Let's just rename add-ons to apps. Because that feels way more natural. There are software applications running alongside. It, it, it's just more clear in terms of a mental model. Apps run, you install apps onto something and you run it. It makes way more sense in a way. You put yourself in like the shoes of a user that starts. Yeah, I think it makes more sense that you integrate something and you can run apps too. Think about your phone. You install apps on those things. You know exactly what it means, right? Um, an app is something that you run, you start it up, you do something with it. It, it runs on top of it. Your, your phone is, has a runtime capability of starting up those apps. The add-ons is kind of the same. They're different pieces of software that run on them. So AdGuard has an app, ESP Home has an app, and they just long run alongside Home Assistant. The proposal is very clear. It doesn't change a bit. It only renames it. So the whole, everything, nothing is breaking except let's just fix everything in the UI. Call it apps everywhere and Bob is your uncle. We're literally just changing the label in the UI. So I've also put up a discussion on the architecture repo where um, a bunch of people and maintainers of us and code reviewers and integration owners have responded on how they feel about this. It's pretty well supported, so that's kind of nice to see. But we have also been discussing alternatives, and I think it's fair to list them out here and just to share my opinion on them. So one of them was widgets. 
And I think renaming it to widgets doesn't make sense. I feel that a widget is more of a UI element, especially not something that um, would be a software application running alongside a form assistant. Um, renaming it to widget, I think, will cause a whole lot of different uh, problems. I think maybe even widgets would be something we should consider naming using in future in front end or something. I don't know. Or the for the for the dashboards or whatever. The dashboards full of widgets. I think it makes sense, but this, it's out of scope for this one. I don't think widgets is not suitable for add-ons. Um, something else was uh, extensions. Uh, a little bit like Google Chrome has, but I would argue that they are more actually add-ons and extensions. They extend functionality. They are more like our integrations, basically. Not suitable. Definitely not. Uh, what else came up? Let me think. Oh, containers. Containers came up, and uh, that's actually true, right? Like, add-ons are under the hood. A um, little bit technical, Docker containers. And these Docker containers are managed by Home Assistant and they have specific APIs. So there's a little bit of layering on top of and in between them. So more communications going on than just a normal Docker container. But in the essential form, they are containers. However, if I think about my, you know, that, let's say my dad would start using Home Assistant, telling him like, hey, you can install more containers on this thing. I don't think that will fly. In the end, this is just about like reducing that first hour frustration for newcomers. Because someone will install Home Assistant and immediately gets like confused and frustrated about terminology and things they run into. That's not good. Um, it also ends up on the forums and on Discord, for example, on Discord chat, which you should definitely join. It, 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 it just confuses the hell out of people. It is on Discord so problematic, and I, I'm not even kidding, this has actually happened. A few months ago, we actually gave up on having a chat channel, having a Discord channel for add-ons and integrations, and we just merged them and slapped them together because people didn't really understand. And that's truly really problematic. That is something we need to fix, and that's what this proposal is about. This is still an open discussion. At this point, it's an architectural discussion, not even a community discussion. Although I think with releasing this little vlog and video and my train of thought, I, I kind of give it to the community. So feel free to jump in. Um, the proposal is in the architecture repository of the Home Assistant work on GitHub. If you would like to join the discussion, it's discussion. Let me check. I have it written down somewhere here. It's discussion. It is discussion 1287. We're definitely looking for your input. I am looking for your input. I think this is a good move, but let me know what your thoughts are. And that's it for this one. That's it for me. This is the basically my first vlog. A little bit of awkwardness to share my thoughts this way. I think it will be uh, I think it will become more easier in the future. At least I hope it's kind of weird. I'm also on a plane with 300 people around me. I'm, by the way, on my way to GitHub Universe 2025, and which I'm truly excited about. Um, hope to see you actually in the next video and hope to share some more around uh, GitHub Universe soon as well. See you in the next one. Choo-choo, homie.